Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel. It's Nithi. I hope you guys are doing very well. I'm here with my tired sister Neha. Say hello. Oh. And my hungry girlfriend Jads. Hi! <laughs> so, we're in Neha's apartment today. I don't think you guys have been here before and you won't be here again. We're helping her move. <laughs> we're packing up all her stuff. She's going away for work and she's changing her residence and whatever, so we have been packing all day. My sister and I have been here since 10, well, she lives here, but I've been here since 10. My dad and I came by um, in the morning to undo her bed. I wish I could have showed you guys it before and after, and now it's all irrelevant, and I'm already like at like 20% battery life right now. But, I wanna be part of this conversation. <laughs> So yeah, uh, my dad and I took apart the bed this morning. Um, so now everything is just, there's her bed. This is her old room. Not that it matters because you guys weren't here before, but this is very strange. I'm a sweaty mess, but let's just ignore that. Um, my sister's a hoarder. I think it runs in the family. So she has every book she's ever had for any schooling she's ever done. She's never been in school right now. Um, we have bags everywhere. What else is there? Oh my god. Um, this is all of the stuff to go to my house, my humble abode. Um, How big do you think my car is? Yeah. <laughs> this is all the stuff to go to her other residence. We don't know what's happening. Lucy's eating a fry. Oh yeah, you guys didn't meet Lucy. This is Lucille. Say hi Lucy. Hello. Oh. Hello. She's having an emotional time. <gasps> oh, there we go. So much love. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's You were getting closer. Thank you. The cold. That's good. Oh, man. Oh, she, oh, she's going for it. Oh, okay. Thank <laughs> you. Um. Mmm. Salty. So. Yeah, and I are <clears throat> we're done. Yeah, we're pretty dead. And uh, there's so much left. There's so much stuff everywhere. I forgot the vlog camera this morning. Jad's finished work uh, just now, and she brought it from my house, which is why this won't really make sense, I guess, because you guys didn't see us work. And like now we're just starting the vlog sweaty, but I swear <laughs> we worked. We did a lot of stuff this morning. so much. Like my arm is holding, hurting just holding this thing. Um, but we have a couple other things to do. I did want to show you though, my sister, my personal shopper at this point, found vegan and cruelty free nail polish and I'm very excited about it because I used to wear nail polish all the time. Um, but I don't wear things that you test- You don't wear things. I don't wear things. I just, I just don't wear things. I don't wear things that test on animals um, or use animal products. So she found two colors for me and I'm very excited. And they're vegan, cruelty free, and it says gluten free, which I was telling you, I don't know how a nail polish could contain gluten. I don't entirely understand what gluten is. Isn't it wheat? How do you put wheat in nail polish? Whatever. Did Does you know? Does that mean that people get allergic reactions to nail polish if they're gluten intolerant? I mean, I, I don't. You have to ingest it. Like you can rub. Like, don't vlog this. Like, you can, like rub, rub up all on you. You can be like mm -hmm. rub what? Intolerant. Rub up all on you. Uh, that's what I do. Pasta. <laughs> <laughs> Just bathe in pasta. Oh, no, here, let's see. Okay. Where? Oh. <gasps> Lulu, are you okay? <laughs> I'm gonna buy a condo. Yeah. And then you're just trying to figure out how many times you have to help her move. Forever home. <laughs> like, you keep on like looking for a condo in the parking space. You're like good for resale, and I'm like, mm mm. <laughs> <laughs> forever home. <laughs> I don't plan on dying alone in my one bedroom condo. Um, All right. What about? <laughs> but the next time I am hiring movers. Cause I cannot do That's it. That's what I like to hear. Yeah. You didn't do anything. You just showed <laughs> up. You're eating. <laughs> what do you mean? You took things across the street to donate. The empathetic person. Pathetic. Empathetic. Pathetic. Empathetic. Stop. You guys are feeling right now. Uh-huh. Therefore, I don't ever want to move you again. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um... <laughs> I don't think you know what we're feeling. My face is on fire. <laughs> this is what I 
sweat, my skin is so sensitive it burns. I couldn't breathe, I ran out of the house. I've been poking these butt like a pincushion. Oh my gosh, you won't stop. I'm jealous. I know. Look at it, it looks like a pincushion. Look at it. Let me see a little pincushion. Look at it. Oh! oh, my God. oh, my God. oh, my God. oh I walked in and she's like, oh, you wear your workout pants. And then she's texting like this. I think she's texting you. I was going like this. I was stretching. I ran yesterday. She's like, are you Cardi B? What's going on? I was like, like this. <laughs> Fanta. Fanta. How did you do that? I went to the machine and I said Fanta and they said add a flavor. It's Fanta. And it was like orange, this, this. Oh. And I said peach. Peach. Like her peach. Peach. No, her peach is better. Oh my god. She's got a plump peach. Yeah, yeah, like a pincushion. <laughs> so there was a head and shoulders music. That's what I was going to say. Did I tell you about that? Please try this. I don't want. Wow. I want you to try she's, it. She's she's getting too so lovingly. I don't want. I don't like sodas. I was gonna say something. I have to burp. Is this B-roll or are you gonna talk? <laughs> <laughs> it's so cold. It's supposed to be a crime scene happening. It's so cold. Are you okay? Then you get the chalk liner out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty comfortable. Actually. You just see my boobs. Like, there's so many children. Oh my god. I remember that. I was there for that one, right? Yeah, so the three of us. Okay. How are you feeling? This, wait, we started at 10 and it's 2 now? That's, it's only been 4 hours? Yeah. No way. Okay, how are you feeling? Exhausted. It's 4 hours in, yeah? I'm just annoyed. I want it to be done. I want to burn all of my belongings instead of packing them. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you like... Is it expensive to rent storage? Just like Lucy! Storage for your entire apartment. Lulu! But I'm Hi, baby! Moving okay. there. Okay. memory. That's true. And then uh, she said, oh, you can share my room when you come back. So no, I didn't say that. But <clears throat> how are you doing in terms of emotions about leaving oh, this so place? So many emotions. Talk over here. Oh. There's so many emotions. I love this apartment. Tell us more. It's so I'm going to do a slow <laughs> zoom. Slow zoom. Tell us more. Oh, she's so sad. <laughs> Stop it, you're gonna actually drag you up here. <laughs> um, Look, it's happening. It's, oh, it's just because I'm tired and my face is on fire. Um, I'm just, I'm gonna miss it because it's really cozy and it was really nice and it was my first like step into independence and I made lots of nice memories here and it just like felt like a safe space, you know, for Lucy and myself. And I'm gonna miss that. I'm gonna miss like being able to walk around with no pants on. Right, because I can't do that anymore. So basically, she's going up north for three months at a time. Yeah, explain your situation. No one knows what's happening. So we live in southern Quebec, uh, Montreal, to be precise. And I'm going away for work in Nunavik, which is northern Quebec. Super north, like no trees north, you know. Uh, sunsets at 9 o'clock, kind of north. And um, I'm going there for a year. So every three months I'll be coming back to Montreal, but it doesn't make sense to pay rent for an apartment for a full year if I'm going to be up north. So I'm going to be splitting my time between my parents' house, specifically Nidhi's room. My house? Nidhi's room. I'm going to be living in Nidhi's room, <laughs> sleeping on her bed in outside clothes. Um, <laughs> no. And uh, then go to my friend Clara's house, who has very graciously and generously offered her extra room to me um, for when I am in town. So. I technically will be living in northern Quebec in an isolated community, but when I come down to Montreal for vacation every couple of months, I will be sort of homeless. Yeah. Also, she's missing my birthday. She's yeah. leaving a week before my birthday. I know. And she did it on purpose. I did. And, uh, that was a very flattering angle of your face. Mm -hmm. You're so heartbroken. How do you feel about her missing your birthday? It's moved on from heartbreak to anger. Yeah, you know, I can I tell. Feel the flame. Right. I, that's probably the burger you just ate. Nope. <laughs> nope. Didn't feel it until I started thinking about you missing the birthday. Mm. So are you saying that I didn't miss your birthday? That's true. Yeah. Are you saying that my presence is impactful enough to you that you're this upset over it? No, I'm saying that my birthday is like I think should be celebrated as a national holiday. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that everyone needs to be present and I need everybody's attention on my birthday. But it's always... my day. You need everyone's attention on every day. <laughs> Are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah, but this is the one day a year I get to demand it, no questions asked. Okay, this argument's gonna go on for 45 minutes, so I'm gonna end this here. <laughs> 
July 4th, 1991. <laughs> right? <gasps> I get it. I don't. <laughs> I know that it's July 5th. I said that on purpose. <laughs> so angry. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. 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 Yeah.